Hi everyone, my name is Puneet. I'm part of Informatica GCS team. In this video, KB, you will get to know what is MongoDB V2 connector and how to configure the MongoDB V2 connector and how to use the MongoDB V2 connector in the CDI or an advanced mapping. Agenda, what is MongoDB V2 connector? Where to use the MongoDB V2 connector and how to configure the MongoDB V2 connector and the prerequisites and, and a demo. So you can use a MongoDB V2 connector to read the data or write the data uh, in any on-premise or like cloud deployed MongoDB Atlas databases. You can use this MongoDB V2 connections as a source or a target only in an advanced mapping. When you use a mapping in advanced mode or a task uh, in advanced mode, the secure agent uses the JDBC driver to connect to the MongoDB. You can only use a MongoDB V2 connector for the MongoDB installed on a Linux operating system. So as I said, the MongoDB V2 connector currently supports only an advanced mapping. Uh, so you should have a prerequisites. You should have advanced special configurations created and the mapping has to run an advanced mode. As a prerequisites, before you configure the MongoDB V2 connector, make sure you create a MongoDB users and copy the primary node host name and create a users with the admin privileges. Uh, when it comes to an authentication, currently for MongoDB V2 connector, we support two authentication factors. One is that like by using a username password, another one is X509. For using a username password, users use this username password credential to connect to the MongoDB servers. Our X509 uses the X509 certificate to connect to the MongoDB server. So when you use a X509 certificate, make sure like you kind of create X509 users and then download the certificates from your MongoDB connect databases. And then you can get the certificate uh, for both uh, client and servers and then convert the .pm file certificates uh, to, you know, uh, uh, to like PKCS file and the JKS are the JKS files. You can refer to these following commands uh, to convert this .pm file to a JKS files. And once these files got downloaded, you can move these files, the .jks uh, keys to your secure agent machine. And then in the connection, uh, when you select an authentication type as X509, you can mention the location of your .jks files and the passwords. So this is a screenshot which refers like where I have used X509 uh, authentication mechanism and we have already got the server and client uh, .pm file and converted to a JKS and then we have used this JKS file locations here and mentioned the password. So make sure like you you pass both trusted and uh, key store file and, and the passwords and regarding uh, to the username and password. So if you have like plain authentication, which is only the username passwords, and then you can select the authentication mechanism as just like, you know, username password and then specify your username and the password. So the auth source by default, it always points to the admin. And if you have a different databases to be pointed at for the authentication, then you have to mention in additional properties like a source, auth source is equal to the database name, which you wanted to use it and make sure by default, the SSL is enabled. So if your uh, MongoDB is not SSL enabled, then you have to explicitly mention SSL is equal to false. If you have multiple properties and additional property sectors, then you have to use an ampersand for like, uh, like adding multiple properties. So now let's see the demo. As I mentioned, uh, if you see the MongoDB V2 Connect documentations, it, it is clearly mentioned it is supported only in advanced mode. So make sure like you run your mappings in advanced mode. And uh, when you go for an administrator as a prerequisites, uh, make sure like you kind of create a database uh, users and then have full administrative privileges. And uh, authentication mechanisms, we support username and password are the X509. And if you're using X509, make sure like you select this SSL keys to your path and pass your uh, JKS files and then enter the password and uh, regarding this additional properties so if you click on this uh, connect if you click on this hyperlink like you know you can see there is like you know auth trust or path so you can use this for like to pass your trust uh, trust or file uh, trust or uh, 
certificates and the password. So you, this way, like, you know, you can enter your trust or file path and the passwords. And then like, you know, if you are, I, I said like by default, the auth source uses a default uh, as an admin. And if you are going to use a different databases, then like you have to mention it as auth source is equal to your database name. So this needs to be passed in the additional uh, properties and by default the ssl is set to true and if you want to if you are if your database or if your mongodb database is not ssl enabled then make sure like you set this ssl to be false so currently uh, when you go for your iacs admin console make sure like uh, the runtime which is installed on linux agent and mongodb also is installed on the linux agent and if, if you do not find the mongodb v2 connector make sure like go to your runtime click on enable or disable services go to the connectors and just search for mongodb v2 connector and make sure the mongodb v2 connector license is enabled and the connector is enabled and also have prerequisites like to have uh, uh, you know the licenses and as i said like since the mongodb works only on the advanced mappings so make sure like you kind of create advanced clusters if we do not create and if you just run an advanced mapping by default it creates a local cluster uh, just refer to the local cluster documentation uh, to know what are the prerequisites which you should have in order to create a local clusters and then uh, if you go for and connections so you will get a connector called a mongodb v2 so here you can specify the host name and the port by default the port will be always 27017 and you can specify the host name and make sure like this host is something reachable from your secure agent machine and you can add your username password and you now you can as I said like by default the auth source is supports only an admin and if you are having a different auth source or the database name you can specify it under additional properties and as I said like the default SL is also set to true so make sure like you set this SL to be false and then click on test connection so that you would see a connection successful. Uh, if, if there's any failures in the connection, uh, the, the easy way of like uh, troubleshooting this issue is that like you can install a MongoDB Compose. This is an external third party tool you can use and you can click on create a new connections. And then uh, here you can click on advanced, auth advanced connection properties, start with an ad authentications and if you are going to use a username password, then pass you uh, like you can specify your username password and the host details and do a test connection externally in order to confirm like you know whether your username passwords are correct or not. Similar way, if you are going to use X509, you can make use of this X509 and just like you know follow this documentation where it says that you need to have the certificates and then you can you know kind of uh, use certificates and then test the connection, make sure like the certificates are valid and. Uh, uh, it, it connects externally, right? So these were like the MongoDB to connector and this can be used only in advanced mapping. Uh, you, it can, you can also refer to this uh, documentation, MongoDB to connector. If you are not sure like how to go to the documentation, you can go for like docs.informatica.com and under that like there is a data integration connector, click on the data integration connector page. So here uh, uh, you would see, you know, many connectors and if you go for a enterprise up uh, enterprise applications you would see a connector guide for mongodb v2 that is mongodb v2 connect right so yeah this about the demo we would like to hear from you please write us to informatica supports videos at informatica.com or you can also follow us on twitter.com slash info support thank you